I have been wanting to create a galaxy piece for a long time and I finally got the opportunity with some awesome new pigments that I've been working with. Let me show you exactly how they work and how to go about it. I'm really excited about this. Stay tuned. Hi and welcome back to Moon Cusser Art. It's Janet and I have been wanting to do this for a long time. I'm going to do a galaxy piece. Pretty cool. Feeling a little, you know, out there. But anyway, <laughs> I have been turned on to some new pigments by a friend of mine, Judy Howard Sand. Um, she's the also known as the Fairy Godmother. She turned me on to these pigments and these are from Leslie Onstead. They are, her pigment line is Color Art and it's spelled C-O-L- O-U-R, color, and art is spelled A-R-T-E. So <laughs> she's definitely got some flair going on, but these pigments are amazing. Now, okay, in all truth, Galaxy Piece came from the idea of these pigments, which she calls, Leslie calls these her Galaxy Diamonds. And let me tell you, when I first started playing around with these, I was blown away by them. They are incredible. If you know me and you've watched my channel, you know I like to do puddle pours to find out exactly what colors are gonna look like. Let me tell you, these are pretty fantastic. Let's see if I can get the light on here to really pick up that sparkle in there. Is that not incredible? Look at those things. They just shine and sparkle. Whoa, that's some bright light in your face there. Sorry. <laughs> but these things are just, they twinkle and sparkle just like stars in the galaxy. So I have had this um, inspiration photograph. I'll put a picture in for you so you can see where I got my inspiration from. You know, sometimes as artists, we you know we get like into a funk or something like that and you got to find some inspiration somewhere so galaxy diamonds galaxy photo it all came together so i'm going to start mixing these up but i usually don't spend a lot of time on how to go about you know mixing your pigments into your resin in this case i'm going to do that because i want you to see exactly how this stuff reacts in the resin. It's really incredible to watch. I also am going to be using a little bit. This is one of her tints. These are all specially made for in resin. So that's pretty cool. This is a very, you can see, the very transparent, uh, her Bahama Mama, like Bahama Mama. Um, and that I'm going to be mixing up with some 99% alcohol because it, these are all powder pigments. She calls them a moist powder pigment. And these Galaxy Diamonds have a mica base in them, which is what gives them their sparkle. So let's get mixing this stuff up so you can see how pretty. And I'm really excited. <laughs> so let's get going. Okay, so the first one I'm going to mix up is going to be the Bahama Mama. Now, Leslie includes these awesome little spoons so that you can get a good amount. And, whoops, I'm just going to scoop out a little bit of this Bahama Mama. Is that not a pretty, pretty blue? Wow, look at how it, it's so, so nice and light and fluffy. I love this stuff. So we're going to get a little bit here. In it goes. And then I'm just going to mix up the tint to dissolve it. She recommends using 99% alcohol. So I always take my alcohol, I have it in mist bottles, I have it in this little dropper bottle, and then of course I have the, the jug that it comes in. And I'm just gonna put just a couple of drops in there. Let's see if I can get a better view for you. So she says just to moisten it. 
All right, and then I'm just gonna mix that in there. And it's still very dry. So, a little bit more alcohol. You don't want to do this in a paper cup. I like to use paper cups a lot of times, but with using the alcohol, you really want to do this in a plastic cup. So these are just tiny little plastic cups. Uh, you know, maybe you'd find them for like at the dentist office for rinsing, um, mouthwash. I get these at Walmart. I think I find them there and they're really inexpensive. So, so there we go. So that's all blended in there. I want to make sure I don't leave any dry particles. Just like that. Okay. There it goes. Really nice. Okay, so that's the blue. Okay, now I'm gonna go batch up some resin because this now will go into the resin. All these colors are gonna go into the resin and uh, I'm not gonna need any more than 99% alcohol. So let's get mixing up those colors. All right, I've batched up my resin. I'm using the general use resin from the epoxy resin store. This resin mixes up on the thin side. Um, and if you let it sit for about 10 minutes, it starts to, to thicken. If you So if you like it a little bit thicker, let it just sit and do that. In this case, because I'm mixing up so many different colors, this is gonna work wonderfully because it's gonna allow me a little bit of time for doing that. So love their epoxy resin and I do recommend it. And I also have a code in the description box. All right, I was batching up my resin and I like to use one of my whites that I use is from Art Tree Creations. It's their Iceland white. It gives some really nice lacing. So I was mixing up some white and I looked across my table and I saw this interference blue sitting there staring at me from, this is also from Color Art, their uh, Bling It series. And the interference blue is, yeah, just like you would expect. It has just a little tiny tinge of blue to it. So... I threw that in there because why not? If it's a galaxy, you know, it should be really something special. So that's going to be my white with that interference. And let's start mixing up some of these colors that I've got here. So this is True Silver. It's, again, from the Bling It line. Now, Leslie has been creating pigments. Her company has been making pigments for a very long time. If you've done acrylic pours, you might have heard about her products through there. But these she's come up with, and they, again, they're made especially for use with resin. And see, it, it's a dry pigment, so it's going to last forever. It's not going to go bad in the container. And you can see, I just used a tiny little bit and look at that silver. Now, I don't want this to be overpowering. The silver is just to add a little bit of sparkle where I want to on the piece. So a very transparent color is perfect for what I'm doing. So that's the true silver. Now this color, I, I it's, well, maybe like that. Let's turn it over. This is called sangria, and I, I, uh, I don't drink sangria, <laughs> but 
I love this color. <laughs> um, it's got these tinges of purple and blue sparkles that just, it's like a cranberry color that just comes alive with those sparkles. So I am really digging that color. And that's gonna be in this piece. And look at how purple it is in the container. Now again, she calls these moist dry pigments. You know, that they're, they're flakes and, and it's attached to these mica flakes, right? So just a little bit. I don't want these to be overpowering. Um, so we'll do it a little bit at a time, see where it goes. And look at how quickly that color just combines right in there. Wonderfully. So pretty. This is nice. Look at that color. I love this one. Mm. That's it. It's, it's all mixed in through there. All right, let's keep going. Amaryllis. So most of these are the Galaxy line, the Galaxy Diamonds. Now this one, is, it's fun because it has this real plum color to it when you look at it here on the stick. But look at this color. That's my color swatch. And it's a real, almost like an apple red, I guess you would call that. Amaryllis. Maybe you would call it that. I don't know. Again, just a little bit. We can always add more. I, I always start less and I can always add. Once you've got it in there, good luck getting it out of there. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, you are so pretty. I can't believe, I, I don't know how she's done it, but I gotta say, I'm very impressed with these. Look at how beautiful. I'll try and get the, oh, there you go. Look at that stuff, right? So nice. Okay. Amaryllis, you are lovely. And got butterscotch. It's such a real sparkly gold. Check it out. Just again, just a little bit. And it goes. Always add more. We need it. You can see how thin this resin is, which makes it lovely to break down these pigments and they just combine in. It's not like the thicker ones where it doesn't blend well. This one, it blends really, really nicely. Love it. Wow. Wow, guys. Is that not cool? Woo! That's cool. All right. Butterscotch. Delphinium. Again, check that color out. Oh, yes. Wow. Well, pretty sure that's going to be enough based on how it's been going because I haven't felt the need to add more. It's just taken a tiny bit to get my color that I want. blends right in there so you can see on the cup it's got like that purple in the background but when you look at it you see that blue lovely that's fun all right pretty cool delphinium you're good and last but not least sea foam
Yep. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Gorgeous. That's cool. I love these. I'm very, very impressed. Very, very impressed. All right. So, last one I've got over here again. Now, this is the, the tint. Now, it's been sitting here because I went off to go, you know, make my, uh, batch my resin up so the alcohol is evaporated away. So, here's my 99%. We're going to put a couple of drips in there to reactivate it. Okay, and that's just to break it down so that I can mix it up and get it into my resin. And I'm looking around and I'm like, hey, I don't have a cup of resin for you, so I got to run across the room and get some. Stand by. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Slippery. All right. So there's my color. And again, this is meant to be transparent. So let's get some of this on the spoon. There we go. And I want to start out I don't want it to overpower, so I'm going to start out with a little bit and mix it in. <laughs> Wee. So that alcohol works to dissolve the pigment and then you can just blend it through and it leaves the resin completely transparent and there it is so it's just a nice light turquoise color just like I saw just a little piece of pigment there break it down good all right so there it is. It's beautiful. What a pretty turquoise color. Right? You guys see that? Okay. All right. So I have everything mixed up how I want. I'm going to take all this over to the resin table. I'm going to put on my mask and we're going to get started over there. See you at the resin table. Well, I have batched up a total of 20 ounces of the resin and what I like to do is I like to put a clear coat down and that's going to allow the resin to float and with the colors on top of this clear layer it just helps with the movement and that's what this piece is all about so I'm just spreading that all around and then I'm going to coat my sides because I want the resin with the color to run over the sides and create some effects there as well. I spray painted my canvas and then I did a little blasting of speckling with some white to get that star look. I just warmed up my surface with my torch to pop the bubbles and we're going to start pouring here. Now in complete honesty I took some of my color and I put it on my black plastic tabletop and it just didn't have the intensity that I was hoping it was going to have. So I about doubled my amounts of pigment that I added in there. So you can see now it's, it's really showing up brightly there. This is the delphinium, um, the galaxy diamond delphinium blue, and it is just such a pretty color. I love that shade. So we're just going to lay in a few lines of the blue, just like that. And then I'm going to come in with my heat gun. I have the small nozzle tip on there, and I'm just going to have those blow out a little bit, create some effects. 
And I'm just going to push them around a little bit. Now the heat setting is set on medium, but the fan speed is set on high. And again, I like to use a Wagner heat gun and this one, it's the Ferno 500, but it has variable speeds and variable heat settings. It doesn't give me an exact temperature and it doesn't give me an exact speed, but I can change it up and down. All right, so let's start pouring in these colors. So we're going to start with the Sangria. And I'm just going to pour that ring for the outer edge of the galaxy in the center of my piece. Now I'm going to go around and do a white ring. This again, it's the Art Tree Creations. It's their Iceland white. It's a epoxy pigment. Uh, they call it a gel. And it's got that interference blue mixed in there. Now we're going to pour out. This is the Amaryllis. And boy, that's such a bright red. So pretty. And again, I'm going to band it off with the white. So we're just going to keep going around and doing these layers. I really like these pigments. Again, the um, Leslie with Color Art, she has this line. It's the for uh, it's resin art line. And these Galaxy Diamonds are just stunning. I really encourage you to check them out. I have a discount code for you. I'll put that in my description box. So if you want to check out, you can save yourself 20% off of an order, which is a great deal. Now we're coming in with the Seafoam Green in the middle. There we go. And then I want to top that off with some of her resin art tint. This is that Bahama Mama Blue. You can see how it's pushing out that seafoam green in the center there, which is exactly what I wanted it to do. Popping the bubbles, warming up the resin, and now I'm going to come back in with the heat gun. And again, it still has that nozzle tip, and I'm blowing out from the center and pushing those colors across the layers and it's they're blending in they're dragging through that iceland white from art tree creations and you can start to see some lacing happening it's a pretty cool effect i think i i was thrilled when i was doing this i was having a lot of fun now i just give it a quick blast with the torch and that's what helps to get those cell effects and the lacing really works nicely. I was really pleased at how these pigments worked well and combined in with the white and gave me some beautiful, beautiful effects. This was so fun to do. I was relaxed and enjoying watching this thing blossom right before my eyes. And the resin that I'm using, the Epoxy Resin Stores General Use Resin. It's very thin. I Because I spent so much time mixing up the colors, it did get a little bit on the thicker side, which is fine. It's set up, and then that way what's going to happen is the effects that I get are really going to stick in place. But it worked really nicely with this pigment. Just pushing through driving those colors around. It was a lot of fun to create this piece. It got the, the center part, you know, it, yeah, it, it got a little bigger on me than I had expected to, but it's okay. I'm really pleased with it. The colors are so vibrant, and when you look at it in the bright light, oh my gosh, it's like the stars twinkling in the sky. It's just great. So this is, it's as easy as this. You're just going to keep pushing your resin colors out to the outer edges. I had my stars with my white spray paint out there. And now I'm just doing some quick blasts with my torch. Now that everything is blown out, when I can do these blasts with the torch, I get a little bit of smoking. I don't want to scorch this one, but I do want those cells to pop out. And this is how I go about getting those to really web and lace. 
it's really coming along nicely. If you look down at the lower edge there, it's really got some beautiful, beautiful stuff happening. Well, it looks like I'm getting things to set up. That's good. Things are slowing down. The resin isn't moving around on the canvas top. Again, this is a canvas that I've supported on the back, so I'm not getting any belly in the middle. And that works good for me. And then I'm just going to add a few little touches of the blue and a little bit of that silver. Putting some ribbons down just to add a little bit more interest. My first uh, attempt before I poured the center kind of blew away. So we're going to cover it up, put the drop cloth over, and to bed she goes. Well, here it is out in the backyard. The final work is Rainbow Galaxy. I'm so excited that I was able to use these pigments and show you exactly what they can do. They are fabulous. These little mica flakes just twinkle and sparkle across the entire piece. Again, I'll put that link into Leslie's website for color art and you can check out everything yourself. I'll have the coupon code in there for getting a discount on any of your orders. But this stuff, it works like nothing else I have ever used in resin before. The colors are gorgeous and this twinkle, you don't have to add glitter or anything. It all comes out together and it's just amazing. Thanks for watching. Check out my other videos that I have here for you. And I'll see you next time here on Mooncusser Art. Enjoy!